Hi guys, it's Tony. I'm just doing a quick video on, yeah, this thing. Yeah, you do know, I can't believe, right, that the Oculus Quest is, has been replaced so quickly within a year. So this thing now is just crap. Compared, I mean, yeah, you can use it, but look at what Oculus have done. It's the headset that brought out is, is lighter, whiter, faster. It's, it's the Oculus Quest that you should have had from day one. Unfortunately, you know, they, you, this was just a prototype, guys, right? And they knew it. But the aggressive marketing said, oh, it's going to be great. Bring this, that, and you know, it's going to be, it's going to be future proof. Really? I feel for the people who've bought one of these things because now they're stuck with it or they're going to have to sell it at a loss, which people can't afford. So uh, Oculus has not gone on and said, well, why don't you just give us your old headset and uh, give us your, you can trade it in for say $100 or something and you can have the new one like phone companies do. When, you're, you, when you want an upgrade on your phone, they always do some kind of deal. Oculus ain't doing that. So what they're going to do is people are going to go, oh, well, I know I'm going to shell out another load more money for something that in a year's time is going to be, it's going to be subsidy, subsidy, is going to be taken on by some high subscribed, I was some subsided, subsided, you know what I mean? By another one, you know, and I can't believe it, within a year there's a new model of the Quest. And, you know, the get the, there isn't any decent fucking games out there yet. The developers can't get their heads around it. Oculus Studios have. Did the developers know this thing is weak? They knew it was weak from day one. It had no memory. The processor was crap. The headset weighed a ton. Um, and this is what happens. And But within a year, it's taking the fucking piss. You know? So this thing wasn't cheap. I bought it because I couldn't afford VR on a proper PC because that was too expensive. But this is what they do. This is the price of tech keeps going up and up and up and up, guys. And it's getting to the point where we just can't, where it is now outpacing our pockets, you know, unless you've got loads of money and you can afford go, ah, I'll just sell that for whatever and get the new one. Years to time, I'll sell it and get the new one. But a lot of people can't afford that. And a lot of, they aren't supporting the customers. They just think like customers have got, have got nothing better to do with the money. I mean, take the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, right? When that thing comes out, it's going to be a lot of money at a premium price. But within a year, they're going to have a new model. It'll be the PlayStation 5 Slim, then the PlayStation 5 Pro a year later. So guys, wait, wait, don't just hand over it your cash to those consoles because it'll be uh, bug fixing, updates, and developers getting their head around how how to develop for the PlayStation 5 and new Xbox. It's going to take time, 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 time. I've got the Xbox X. I bought it second hand, and all it was it, it it was as far as the Xbox could go, and be and then there's been a three year between that and the new one coming out, and that's acceptable to me. That's acceptable. The three years between the last Xbox model, I waited and waited to the, because I knew that that one, it was going to be the last model, you know, the very Xbox X with a 4K, pure 4, 4K. And so I don't feel screwed if uh, the new one comes out because it's been such a long time. But this thing replaced within a year, come on. Yeah, that's a joke. The, the thing is, the, the, the developers can't keep up with the games. It, it, it's like, it's all very well bringing out a new headset, like every year, obviously, this is what they're going to be doing. But there's no decent AAA games out for them. And you may say, well, Tony, no, you're wrong. There's this, that, and the other. Well, if you like, like, I mean, one, there's a few couple of games, but they're crappy. I'm talking, look at the games that, that, that you have on Xbox, right? You know, You've got libraries of games. What has Oculus got for the hardcore game? And nothing. It's just, it's all the Oculus was for me was for the for browsing the internet, watching some movies, going on a few roller coasters. There was nothing else. The games weren't there. It was weak. It was it was it was uncomfortable to wear. But I bought into it because 
you know, this, oh, it's this, that, and the other. Yeah, it's brilliant. But no, I never used it. For months, it would just sit in me drawer, looking at me as if to say, you're going to get me out, Tony. Yeah, take me out. No. The hand controllers, I wonder if they fixed them because they should have all been on rechargeable docks. You know what I mean? Why did we have to put new batteries in every five fucking minutes? So, guys, by keeping up with tech, are you having issues yourself, guys? Are you finding it's getting more and more expensive just to keep up with tech these days, keep up with the latest and greatest? Do you find that, like, you are you just going to be like, like what I'm going to be from now on? You just see something and just wait and wait and wait till it's virtually nothing and then buy it. Because then if you pay nothing for it, you're not getting screwed. It's when you go out and you pay, you land like $500 or £400, £500, $600, and, and something else comes along the next year. You you just feel like you have that awful gut feeling like you know you've been born because you know nobody will want this anymore. They'll want the better one. So, I mean, I, I'm selling this for 200 quid, guys. If you want it, I'll post it for extra cost because I'm sick of looking at it and I won't be buying Oculus again. No, 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 no. Unless, unless somebody, unless I see this thing out for, for, for absolutely nothing. <laughs> if I see this thing for less than, uh, the Oculus 2 for less than £99, I'll buy it. And by then there'll be loads of games, loads of update fixes and I won't get screwed because I'm thinking, well, I can't lose anything out of that price. But yeah, this is what's happening. And it's not just with tech, it's with cars, it's with phones, it's with everything. And it's advertisement and they're getting that. These people advertise all this Oculus stuff. They are getting paid by Oculus and Facebook. Um, you know, they're not genuine YouTubers like myself. They're just getting paid to say, oh, look, I can't. That, that arsehole with a beard who does the Oculus VR. God, damn it, I want, you know what I mean? He's just like... Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe they packed so much stuff into the Oculus 2. Oh, I can't believe it. It's because you get paid by Oculus to, to fucking say all this. So the people who just bought this headset are so pissed off. I'm going to make sure I am subscribed from him because he's a big asshole. And Oculus are assholes and Facebook are assholes. I'm sorry, but you are. You treat your customers like crap. Your games are shit and it's worthless, you know. And that's just my tooth, and that's why I'm so annoyed about it. You guys, you guys, leave the comments. I'll catch you later.